Hello everyone, uh, my name is Freddy. Um, today I was actually going to show you a uh, quick little review on the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, I love this thing to death. It's a uh, one of my newer computers. A little bit expensive but worth every penny. Um, if you're a Windows user, um, it does take a little bit of time to get used to the um, OS X uh, operating system which is what I'm using. Um, but uh, all in all, the computer is just brilliant. I mean, it's fast, um, crystal clear screen. Um, it's an HD, of course. Um, so, with that being said, let's kind of let's pop it open and take a look at some of the features uh, of it. Um, so, I've got it sitting here. Um, it is already turned on, um, but it does boot up within about a good 30 seconds. So, the boot up on it's really nice. Um, one thing I always like to note. Let's go ahead and open it here. Um, I'll let the screen turn on. Um, I did get a little uh, key keyboard protector for mine. Um, really nice. They're like three bucks. I got mine off eBay. But uh, I mean, I clean this thing after every touch on it, so keeps it really good and brand new. Um, let's go ahead and log in here. Okay. So I got my little home page set up here. Um, Besides the computer just being really fast, I mean, I really like the uh, the little bar down here. It lets you access all your different uh, apps. You know, you got your iTunes calendar, stuff like that. But um, one thing I chose to do is I bought me, it's a Western Digital um, 500 gigabyte external hard drive. Um, that way I could keep the, uh, the, the normal hard drive on my computer running nice and smooth. Um, there's nothing on the hard drive besides, um, you know, things like the updates to the computer, um, all the original software and hardware, but anything excess, pictures, music, videos, downloads, uh, games, you name it, is all on my external hard drive over here. Um, and that, that's kept my computer running really, really smooth. I really enjoy that. Um, just to show you, um, let's go ahead and open this up real quick. And we'll unlock my hard drive. Okay. Um, it's got a little, uh, I can press my little hotkey here to bring up all this stuff. Um, this will tell you here my, my MacBook has about 210 gigabytes free. Um, as you can see, I've barely used up any. That's all the original stuff that came on it. Um, whereas my Passport Essential, which is the WD... Uh, Western Digital 500 gigabytes um, I still have just about 450 gigabytes left and I mean and there's there's quite a bit of stuff on it so far um, you know brings up my little calendar so I really like the fact that, that I can just bring that up um, on top of that I mean the ability to multitask on this thing is insane um, runs really really smooth um, pop iTunes open I can pop open my little calendar here uh, you know, system preferences. Um, you got your little application set up here to where I can bring up all kinds of stuff. Um, and and it just it all opens really really smooth. I really enjoy that. Um, you know, bring up iPhoto. Um, just just tons of stuff. I mean, I can sit here and open stuff all day long. I got a dictionary. Um, and it just it all runs so smooth. Another nice feature is I can bring this up here. Uh, the Windows. And uh, it'll show me every single window that I currently have open. I can toggle between all of them. Um, got a lot of really good stock applications as well. You know, calculators, um, iTunes, of course. It's got uh, one of my favorite features here is it's got a little thing called a photo booth. Let me find it here. Um, and it, you've got a little nice built-in camera right there. Um, there's me. Um, it's really nice for Skyping, um, doing live video feeds, so if you want to upload something to YouTube, um, and everything like that. So the, and, and the camera runs just perfectly smooth. It's really nice. So go ahead and close that down. Um, one, one of the really important things I find uh, to be crucial for a MacBook, um, I have a software on here. Um, it's called Mac Keeper. Um, I believe it was about $50.00. Um, well worth every penny. Uh, what Mac Keeper allows you to do is basically keep this machine running in tip-top shape. 
Um, you'll see here it allows me to do a system scan. Um, it checks for junk files, your security, and then also your performance. So basically when you run a system scan, um, it tells you how many junk files, duplicates, things like that. Um, it checks all your security, checks for viruses, uh, cookies, all that stuff. And then your performance, it also checks for all the um, usable updates, um, must-have updates, optional updates, stuff like that. Um, it also lets you go through and, uh, I mean, you can actually zero your hard drive disk. You can shred files to where they're completely gone. Um, you can encrypt all your data. Um, it's got a nice antivirus software that comes with it. Um, a live, you know, live chat for any help. Um, and then also it's got a, one of my favorite is uh, the smart uninstallers. So basically you click on this and it scans your entire hard drive. Um, usually it takes a couple minutes. But then you can go through every single thing. Um, for example, say, uh, say you uninstall, uh, I have the game StarCraft on here. Say you uninstall StarCraft, um, usually it doesn't uninstall every single file associated with it. Um, whereas you can go on here to the Wise Uninstaller and it'll completely just wipe the whole thing off, get you that little bit of extra hard drive space. So that's really nice. Um, the disk usage I really like as well. Um, it separates all your files, like for example, um, it'll separate stuff like your, your movies, your music, uh, games, applications, and it tells you how much each one's taken up. You know, for example, my, my desktop itself has 703 megabytes used up on it. Um, music is 1.9 gigabytes, so if I want to clear some of that up, it's obviously in the red saying that it's the highest. Um, and click right here on iTunes and, and go through and, and, and delete stuff. Um, so MacBook Keeper is really nice. It's a really nice software. Um, I enjoy using that a lot. Um, and then uh, all in all, um, it, it's a great, great machine. Um, I'll never go back to anything else. Uh, I'm definitely an Apple person all the way. Once again, a little pricey. I think I paid about around 1900 bucks for this model. Um, but uh, it, it, it's worth every penny. I can run Photoshop, Corral Painter on here. Um, ton, tons and tons of apps. Uh, it's got a nice video editing software that works really well. Um, you know, once again, using the external hard drive allows me to keep this bad boy running nice and smooth. Um, I clean it constantly, you know, keep it in really good condition. Um, there's also tons of accessories you can buy. Um, if you want, check out the next video I'm going to post. Uh, it'll probably be labeled MacBook Pro Laptop to Desktop, and I will show you how to turn your laptop into a desktop computer. So it's really compatible. It works both ways. It's nice. You can carry it around. It's portable. Then again, I can come home, turn it into a desktop, sit down on a bigger monitor, um, and play games and, and do whatever you want to do from there. So. Um, I hope this was a nice little review. Um, I didn't quite go over every single thing there is to go over, but um, I think you get the basics. Um, it's a beautiful computer. Um, you know, it's, it's worth every penny. I mean, if you can afford one, get one because you'll, you'll fall in love with it just like I have. Um, so I hope that was useful for you guys. Check out the next video, and uh, I'll show you how to turn this into a desktop computer.